Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm driving north from Quebec City, Canada, and I came upon a municipal park that's called Municipal Day by Day Roaches. I think it's how it's pronounced. And it gets a view of a creek following the road here, which goes down to form into a lake, which then merges into the St. Lawrence River. It has some very nice scenery. So let's go take a look at it. It's between the towns of St. Simeon and Tadisac. So just watch for this sign and then you turn down this road here. This is the first scenic stopping point in the park. Got this nice wooden bridge over the creek here. I'll have to look this up and post a translation on the screen here. So 1.6 kilometers down this trail is what that will be. A little bit of a waterfall here. Well, this is the parking area. The road is still paved here. But you can see this sign saying not to take big vehicles down, so I'm not going to try that. It's just a small parking area with one car, one motorhome there, and mine. And I gotta translate this and this. I just talked to somebody who said the road ends just a short ways down here, so I'm just going to walk down the road and see what's there. This is the creek that's alongside the road all the way. This is about the best shot of it. Or actually, this is a little better. Here's a trail that goes down to the creek. So this is the map of the area and it's just a little ways north of St. Simeon and a way south of Tudesac I think is the main town around here. So here's a map of the whole area. You can see this much larger river comes into, this is the St. Lawrence Seaway they call it the St. Lawrence River and you can see some of the other features a little way south of where I am and this is focused on this area here this explains it in English so this is where the water from the creek I don't know what they call it really it flows down into a bit of a lake here and out there you can see the St. Lawrence River St. Lawrence Seaway it's so big you can't see the other side of it so this is a nice waterfall and a little one off to the side there now this is a fairly good sized parking lot, but it would be really difficult to get a big RV down here. The road is fairly narrow the whole way. Here's another shot of it further down. And a broad shot of the lake. And they have a launch here for small boats, like canoes. And here's a dock. So the lake, you see, goes pretty wide. Off to the left there.
and there's some picnic tables there's some rocks and birds out on the lake there well actually I was wrong you can see the other side although that may just be a big sandbar or something in the middle because I know the the St. Lawrence is much bigger than that I was hoping to get an overall long view of the St. Lawrence but you'd have to go way out there in a boat to see it be a nice place to go exploring in a kayak these look like just storage buildings got a porta potty and just all these storage buildings look at the roof of that thing <laughs> Well, no camping. Wonder how this holds up in the rain. There's actually a boat trailer in there. Well, this is actually all there is for the provincial park. <laughs> Good day, folks. Here's a bonus scene from further north up the road in the little town of St. Catharines. This is the St. Lawrence River, <laughs> and it is so wide here, you cannot see anything on the other side of the river. That is how far it is away, as you can see there. This is as far as I can zoom in, and I don't see anything over there. You may remember the video I did in Quebec City when I commented that they say the word Quebec means the narrowing of a river and with the river like about two miles wide I didn't see any narrowing <laughs> I thought that was pretty wide until I get to here and see just how wide a river can be so if you look on the map at the width of the St. Lawrence River, it's pretty amazing. And around Quebec City, it actually is pretty narrow. <laughs> well, folks, on the Canadian Highway here, I need to cross over from St. Catharines, where I am now over to the town of Tadesac which is over here on the other side of the bay and the only way to get over there is to take the ferry so here is the ferry coming in and here is the line of motorcycles and cars and trucks and my motorhome <laughs> another 18 wheeler behind it waiting to get on the ferry this is the St. Catharines Bay which goes out into the St. Lawrence Seaway where it's so big you can't see the other side <laughs> Well, I got on with all these big trucks, <laughs> and to my surprise, it's a free ferry provided by the generous government of Canada. Now look at the cars and trucks. Still more waiting in line. Friends. The ferry has restrooms and vending machines. And this is what we're leaving. So 
nice scenery here. And here's my little guy neatly tucked in. <laughs> And this is what we're headed for. The dock there.